So how has the world been changed by these events? In the last week, what certainty we had about national borders and the east-west axis seems to have disappeared. Such is the flux that even in TV studios aligned to Russia, the ground is pretty shaky. Watch this from presenter Abby Martin, who works for Russia Today, the satellite station its detractors call the mouthpiece of the Kremlin. Before we wrap up the show, I wanted to say something from my heart about the ongoing political crisis in Ukraine and Russia's military occupation of Crimea. Just because I work here for RT doesn't mean I don't have editorial independence. And I can't stress enough how strongly I am against any state intervention in a sovereign nation's affairs. What Russia did is wrong. I admittedly don't know as much as I should about Ukraine's history or the cultural dynamics of the region, but what I do know is that military intervention is never the answer. And I will not sit here and apologize or defend military aggression. Furthermore, the coverage I've seen of Ukraine has been truly disappointing from all sides of the media spectrum and rife with disinformation. Above all, my heart goes out to the Ukrainian people who are now wedged as pawns in the middle of a global power chess game. They're the real losers here. All we can do now is hope for a peaceful outcome for a terrible situation and prevent another full-blown Cold War between multiple superpowers. Until then, I'll keep telling the truth as I see it. Have a good night, everyone.